we're gonna be walking through how to install this sheeting. And so this is uh, what helps protect your house in the event of an earthquake, because during an earthquake, the ground starts shaking like this, and you have these things like this right here, which is called a cripple stud. And so with cripple studs, the problem is that when this ground is shaking like this, they can begin to topple and uh, they're only loosely connected. You can see there's only like two nails uh, and they're kind of like towed in on that. And so basically, you know, in the event of an earthquake, all these things are gonna wanna flip over just like dominoes. When you touch a domino and it starts tilting and everything else falls down. So the way we protect against that is through this sheathing. And basically this whole sheathing turns your cripple wall, which used to look like that, into shear wall that can now resist uh, of toppling over in the event of the earth shaking like that. And I'll show you guys some clips of me cutting this out and uh, yeah, take it easy. All right, so here is our 15, 30 seconds, five ply wood. Five just means that there are five layers in it and it's 15, 30 seconds of an inch thick. And then uh, these come in four by eight pieces. So that came from Home Depot. And uh, what I did is in the crawl space, I measured the location uh, and the height of uh, to the top of the two mud sill plates, uh, to two top plates I have. And then this right here is the uh, base of the mud sill. So I got 22 and a quarter on one side and on the other side I had 22 and a half. So I measured out and used some chalk and uh, basically just cut that. I really love these little compact circular saws and I hooked it up to a vacuum so it's not as messy. Um, but yeah, so got this thing cut out uh, to the right shape that it should be for my space. And then I also marked out the locations of all the studs. Um, this house is built in uh, 53, so it's, everything's not perfect, but um, you know, the first one was 16 on center and then it got to be like an eighth of an inch off. So I just translated all those things to this thing, starting from here. So 16, 32, and then 48 and an eighth, um, all the way down, so I know that my stud when I put this thing up, you're not gonna see where any of the studs are, so I basically traced all this out. And then also this right here is gonna be the blocking that I've installed. So I just wrote that here so that I know when I'm nailing, uh, where my nail should go. And then, um, you know, my stud's gonna be right here. And then also these are our two top plates, so I'll be able to know where those are at because uh, what it calls for in standard plant set A is just alternating uh, every four inches away. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing that and then uh, basically just tracing it out. I'm going to make a cutout um, because I do have a square vent in this thing. So I just have to look out, figure out where that is. Um, and then I'll cut out that little section on this. Uh, and then we should be good to actually go and put this thing down underneath the house. So coming along smoothly so far. All right, so here is our board I just dry fit it underneath. Uh, I am hitting this uh, joist here so just notched. I'm gonna make a little notch here just so I can push this in the rest of the way and then I'm gonna have to make a cutout uh, because behind this guy is that vent so I'm gonna measure uh, how high up here I need to cut and then we'll also need to add some blocking so I'll put a two by four right there. And I'll basically just be cutting out a notch in this guy so that vent can still be here. Um, and yeah, uh, this blocking uh, wouldn't be necessary anymore because basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be cutting it like there and there. And then there's gonna be a block here so you keep a continuous perimeter of uh, your seam nails or whatever uh, going up and around this. So um, yeah, but, so far, looking good, I like it. And uh, hopefully we'll get this thing in soon. Okay, so almost ready to finish the sign this thing. I cut out the part for the vent. I also cut out a little indent here with my uh, saw for the joist that was protruding. And then also I cut out a four inch uh, block here just so I can mark where all of my nails are. So I make sure I get the uh, spacing up to code on this guy. So basically I just Mark down and then on our two top plates are going to be alternating between top and bottom like that um, and then also around that vent cutout we got that block now behind it and so I'm going to drill the uh, the holes for the vents uh, on each one of these after I get this thing in 
Um, but I just wanted to kind of get this thing in to start. And uh, yeah, I think we're almost ready to start nailing it finally.